In this tutorial we're going to be going over pretty much multiplayer scripting and kind of getting a general grasp of what you should be doing and how to achieve the results you want just kind of in that thought process to understand that what runs on the server is not going to run on the client necessarily unless you make it run on the client. We're going to be going over and using the init server.sqf and learning about remote execution. Now, for the init server.sqf, you can see in this description here, it is executed only on the server when the mission is started. So that means if we were to have a script inside it as a client, let's say the script was just a simple hint. If you were a client and you joined the server, you would not see that hint. So what we're going to try to do is just print this message here, but on the server, and have a client see it. So we're going to go ahead and make our new file, init server. Go ahead and get rid of this. We're going to put the hint on the server. Now the thing is, when you're in Arma 3, and you test it in like a single player mission or even if you go over here to play in multiplayer like I'll show you you are going to see that hint and the reason is you are actually the server as you can see it printed message on the server because you are the server so a way to really test this you have to run it on a dedicated machine so I will host a dedicated server go ahead and export it Go ahead and open up the server, which is already set up for this mission, by the way. Sorry, this is going to take a little bit. Might as well go over here and talk about this for now. But with remote execution, what we're going to be able to do is execute that hint on everybody's machine. Alright, server's up. Go ahead and Join it. And whereas in single player, well, that test, we saw the hint. Here, as you can see, there is no hint at all. And grenade, because why not? Alright. So we're going to go ahead and go back into the editor just so we can export our mission. Once we make our changes. Alright, now we go back into our script here. So, here's where remote execution comes into play. We have hint message on the server. Now, we have our parameters, which would pretty much be message on the server. We have remote execution, then we have where it says function name. Function name, that's going to be hint, but it can also be a actual function itself that you want to call. However, we will get into that on another video since we haven't covered functions yet. Then you have the targets, being who you want to display it to, and whether or not join in progress players will see that message. So for targets, you can see here, zero is for everybody. That means anybody that's on the server, including the server. You also have, where is it, two. When you have two set, it will be executed only on the server, and when 3, 4, and 5, blah, 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 pretty much where it's just going to be their client ID. You can ignore that for now. But when the number is negative 2, it is executed on every client, but not the server. So we are going to just be using 0 for simplicity since it's, well, that's just that by default. So as you can see here, remember what I said, parameters, that's going to be our string here. So we go ahead and copy this, paste it in, then do remote exec. Then we have our opening square bracket. Then we do the function name, in this case being hint. Then we're going to execute it on our targets, zero being everybody. And then, as you can see, join in progress, string or boolean. We're just going to use a boolean. So we want it to be displayed on people that do join after the server has already started. So set it to true, closing square bracket, and put a semicolon. Now we can go and get rid of this 
and save it. Now, if we go ahead and just we'll save and export our mission. And we go ahead and start the server real quick. I don't know why I said real quick when it takes forever. And go ahead and join our server. Now you should see the hint message on the server. Even though that me that hint was on the server itself and we are a client, we are still able to see that message because the remote execution broadcasted it on everybody's computer at the time of it running. So that's a pretty general example for that and I will be getting into more later but as for now that is going to be all.